What it do, homies? It's your boy Dave, and I'm back today. We are here with another ERB. This time we're checking out Steven Spielberg versus Alfred Hitchcock. Okay. Now I know about Steven Spielberg. One thing that I that I didn't know about him, uh, because you know, doing some research, uh, was that Steven Spielberg is the most uh what did it say? The most com uh commercially, commercially, uh the richest, if not richest, most commercially successful uh film director, which is actually pretty cool. I didn't know that. And <clears throat> I know absolutely nothing about Alfred Hitchcock. Okay. Uh, learned some stuff, English film director, producer, screenwriter, and the most influential and widely studied filmmakers in the history of cinema. And also learned that he had a fear of eggs. <laughs> He's frightened by eggs. That is a very interesting, uh, um, uh, fact and his one of his most famous films was psycho which i've never seen actually i've never seen any of his movies i don't think psycho birds marine uh but it looks like he liked to <clears throat> dive into like the uh complex psychological care the care, like uh minds or something like that psychological complex characters under trying to understand them anyways anyways um <clears throat> i think i researched enough uh before starting this video so let's go ahead and shut up and turn it up up for crap bottles of our store. Steven Spielberg versus Alfred Hitchcock. Yes. Picture a child sitting next to a projector, learning from your films to become a much better director. Now picture a three billion dollar dream machine who can block us all over your crop just to see. Okay, so um, I did see uh, right here. I think his network. His net worth, of course, was like three billion. I just looked in when I was doing the research. I read he was worth three point seven billion. So, growth. Now picture a three billion dollar dream machine who can block us all over your crop duster scene. Try to do with crop duster scene. Uh, I'm guessing it has something to do with uh, 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 how he filmed his movies. The Alfred, you must be psycho. I'll oh, psycho, the movie. To take a bite of your life, bo. I'm Shark always movie. on top of my game. I get the vertigo. My jet's in the terminal waiting for me to murder you. I rock okay. the Academy and the DGA. You rock as many Oscars as that slap Michael Bay. Wait, 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 wait. Um, I feel like I missed the vertigo bar, right? Vertigo. This might be kind of like uh, similar to... um. The uh, uh, Stephen King uh, Epic Rap Battles, where he was uh, dropping a bunch of his, uh, you guys were telling me in the comments, dropping a bunch of his names, uh, book names, and a rap and everything. So, uh, Vertigo was a 1958 film and it was made by Alfred Hickok. Okay. All right. So, he's playing, he's playing off the movies he made. Okay. I'm always so on top of my game. I get the vertigo. My top of my game. I get the vertigo. Okay. That's in the terminal waiting for me to murder you. One thing you guys told me to look out for when I was watching this was uh, every time they capitalize a word in here, it usually means it's a reference. So terminal uh, murder. No, terminal movie. I started typing it in. It brought a 1984 film. Uh, is this by him as well? No, that's James Cameron. OK, so we were doing references from other uh, movie directors. Yeah, I rock the Academy and the DGA. Okay. You rock as many Oscars as that slap Michael Bay. Okay. You're filling up those jowls with three steaks and souffle. Check the trade, see me amble to my next big play. See me amble, see, yo, oh my goodness, what? Time you're filling up those jowls with three steaks and souffle. Check the trade, see me amble to see me ambling to my next big play. Guys, this might be just a, a, a video of me researching what the hell are they actually talking about. <laughs> ambling, ambling entertainment. Oh wait. Is he still making movie references? That was Michael Lloyd. It is a movie called Amblin. It was about a young man hitchhiking across Southern California. See me Amblin. Ooh. Let me go ahead. Okay. Yo. Oh, oh, God. These bars flying over my head right now. I'm so glad. Yo, I'm just going to go ahead and keep Google on deck. Hold on real quick. Let me move my keyboard. Ain't no way I'm going to make it through this without having to look up everything. I'm, I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> I gotta get these. To my next big play. I produce cartoons and make games for all ages. You produce Jimmy Stewart making one of two faces. We're about to learn today, y'all. <laughs> all right. Uh, Jimmy Stewart. He's an American actor as well. So we still got some actor movie kind of bars. Making one of two face. Uh, uh, distinct. He was known for his distinctive draw and every man seemed personal. Make a one of two face. I'm guessing he only had two faces that he made. Maybe next time I visit, you'll be a bit more gracious. I'll kiss my full moon and just bask in my greatness. Ride 
was a close encounter of the third kind. Close encounter of third third kind. I think it's a movie that he produced, Close Encounter, right? But there won't third be kind. a pretty ending this time. Half your billion should go to John Williams. Now brace yourself as I reveal my brilliance. Now why should half his should go to John Williams? He's an American composer. Okay. So I see what he's famous for and everything. He's a composer. Now, why should half of it go? Is it because uh, did he produce the music that uh, best known for him? See what he's best known for. Yeah, go composer and conductor. His most famous piece of work was, oh, oh, he's the one who did Jaws. Oh, wow. He did The Empire Strike Back. Oh, what a wow. Amazing composer. I need to look him up. They need to put him in a battle. I'm the master of suspense, so intense, no defense against Hitchcock once he presents. No defense against Hitchcock, Hitchcock when he presents. Hitchcock. I need to remember some of these. When he, oh, I think he's talking about his name. Oh, hold on, hold on. We come with the flow. Defense against Hitchcock once he presents. You know, I was too busy starry-eyed by transformers transforming that i really didn't realize to her bad acting so i went back and watched it and i was just like oh so so much cringe okay so i do know that i do know uh uh his films were filmed in black and white so he would use chocolate syrup to mimic blood if i'm not correct uh if i'm not mistaken because the uh the density uh, mimicked blood, right? And you would know the difference if it's in black and white, and not only that, but the color. And he said he used Muppets and everything, um, referencing one of uh, uh, Steven's uh, movies. Animatronics or something like that is what it was called. Oh, hold on. <laughs> Okay, so Hunt You Like the Last Indiana. I think he's talking about Crystal Skulls. I didn't know much about Indiana until I watched that movie. Um, and I thought it was cool and everything, but man, it received a whole lot of hate. And I didn't understand why. The ending of that movie was stupid. I do remember that. All right, it looks like we got somebody else jumping in. I don't know who's going to jump in, y'all. I didn't prepare for this. Give me a Tylenol. Stop rhyming, y'all. Alfred, you got no style, dog. I'm the king of dialogue. There's only one movie I know you're from. And I've seen more blood in the shower when I stub my toe and more. Tried to fight in World War One, but couldn't do that. The British Army wouldn't let you join because you were too fat. Yo, is that what? Hitchcock tried to join the army? Hitchcock army. Is it really because he was too fat? Hitchcock Army, uh, uh, Alfred Hitchcock Army. Okay, let's see what we got here. <gasps> okay, so it says here that he uh, he was called up to serve in the British Army during World War One, but was ultimately excused from military service because of his weight. 1917. Tried to fight in World War One, but couldn't do that. The British Army wouldn't let you join because you were too fat. Look it up; it's a true fact. Wikipedia that. Now allow me to attack Stephen the Hack. Heck? War of the Worlds of Failures when I label you. It looked like some sellout bullshit Michael Bay would do. I never seen War of the Wars. Is that true? Ask anybody. What's your favorite Sam Jackson part? No one's gonna say. What's his name from Jurassic Park? <laughs> uh <laughs> Okay. Um I still don't know who this guy is. Bay would do. Ask anybody. What's your favorite Sam Jackson part? No one's gonna say. What's his name from Jurassic Park? I think he's talking about uh Jeff Goldblum? Goldblum? That I write ain't the clean. When I grip mics, I'm the hey. yeah, Quentin Tarantino is a Oh, Quentin Tarantino. Okay. From the wallet to the penis. All right, so he said that he was when it comes to dialogue, he he's the king. And you know what? He does he does a pretty good job. And I think one of the best parts about watching one of his movies is uh how he just cuts off the back the back. Uh, ground music and just lets like the 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 audio talk he's really good at capturing like the surrounding sounds and the dialogue view is very 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 interesting stuff so okay quentin tarantino i also learned in another uh rap that he also adores uh feats he has a foot fetish somebody need to attack him for that <laughs> quentin tarantino is a genius a bad motherfucker from the wallet to the penis Guys, this, 
this is another person. I can only take so much. Who is this? Genius is a powerful word, but there's no reason to use it unless you're talking about the Kubrick. Then there's really. All right. Talking about the Kubrick. All right, y'all. Let's find out who this guy is. Kubrick. Uh, Stanley Kubrick. Okay, film directors. I, I should have known that, but what is he famous for? He's he is cited as one of the greatest filmmakers in cinematic history. Okay. Oh, The Shining, Space Odyssey. I've seen that movie. Uh oh. Uh, I haven't seen any of his. Oh, he made Full Metal Jacket. This is my rifle. This is my gun. This is for fighting. This is for fun. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's go. Nothing to it. Everything I do is visionary. Every single frame of painting made exactly how I wanna make it. Do another take and get it right. 127 times. I'll make you learn to love. According to the Guinness Book of Records, the scene where Wendy is backing up the stairs swinging a baseball bat was shot 127 times in The Shining. You got to be kidding me. Now I need to go watch The Shining and see that so I can see what the final product looked like. I'd be I'd be swinging that bat for real. We ain't acting anymore. 127 times? Wanna make it to another take and get it right. 127. Bro, look look at his face. <laughs> it's like the perfect mix of like crazy and <laughs> just sad and you're gonna do it. <laughs> I'll make you learn to love me on the bar. Drop over violent rhyme like clockwork. Make you all hurt. Beat Spielberg, the color purple. AI okay. is the worst waste of potential since the ninja turtle. AI is the worst. A A A I, A I is the worst. Mm, uh, A I, Ninja, Turtles. A I Ninja Turtles. I don't get it, y'all. A I loadout for individual. I'm getting like video games and stuff. I mean, I get artificial intelligence. Um, the only thing I could think of is there used to be this Ninja Turtle movie that uh, I think it came out in the '90s uh, when it was fighting Shredder. Uh, it was an actual live movie. I didn't know if they used AI for that. I thought it was just guys and like talking, not talking suits, but like guys moving it. Was that really AI? Okay. Spielberg, the color purple. AI is the worst waste of potential since the Ninja Turtles. I've heard enough crap from all of you. Got somebody when I else. come down there and show you what a real star can do. I swore blow with the telephoto. No Bruckheimer, I work solo. If this one thing I've learned, bitch, this game is about what? motherfucking money. I make that dollar, y'all, motherfucking money. Even make Mark Wahlberg make some motherfucking money. Okay, I already know what this is. You, you can't deny the explosions. This must be Michael Pay. <laughs> money. <laughs> <laughs> we all know that, bro. He just be releasing these movies, man. And like some dumb dumbs, man. We go and watch that mug. He make that mud money. Now, he said something in there. He said like Bruckheimer's or something like that. Let's go find out what he's talking about. A real star can do. I swear blow with the telephoto. No Bruckheimer. No Bruckheimer. I work solo. I don't know who that is. Let's find out. Jerry Bruckheimer. Uh... Uh, I don't know. I mean, I see that he's a film director. He made, oh, whose action-packed movies made him one of the Hollywood most. Okay, so um, maybe Bruckheimer was an inspiration for Michael Bay. It looks like they made similar movies, and maybe Bruckheimer worked with a bunch of people. I work solo. If this one thing I've learned, bitch, this game is about motherfucking money. I make that dollar, y'all, motherfucking money. money. Hey man, I don't know. <laughs> I don't. I don't. Uh, I don't know Michael Bay like that, bro. Is he? Is that really the type of attitude he be on, bro? 
he just be working on it. He don't even care what nobody says, man. He, <laughs> he take his checks and sign it with his nuts. <laughs> from above i got the eyes of an eagle michael bay have a movie called heaven's eye or something like that let's see my uh michael bay uh uh let me just put in i see what happens <laughs> you had an eye movie right michael bay i can't remember i feel like there was a movie no, I'm not too sure. You guys can tell me down in the comments. I feel like this video has been mostly just me looking up stuff. So sorry about that. I was really trying to get these bars. I didn't expect two, three additional people, but <laughs> I don't know what. I was kind of kind of taken back. I was kind of taking that. I didn't understand, you know, some of this stuff. But uh, I guess, honestly, I don't know. I mean, I like Michael Bay's interest, man. He was funny, especially with his little, his little... <laughs> That was pretty funny. I'm not really too sure who won, y'all. My head's still hurting. Uh, you guys let me know who y'all thought won down in the comments. That's the end of this video. If you enjoyed the content, leave a like and subscribe. Dave's out.